itself and reface that endeavor is going to be the overriding factor that makes a difference. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K. There's no, I'm going to get into school to be this or that and still perform to the highest level. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever, but the main purpose in life is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life, is to better oneself. So that's the only purpose I can need. Use pain as a fuel. Imagine if you could use the pain as a passport. Imagine if you could use the pain to push you, to condition you, to prepare you for the stages and the rooms you've got to walk into and the tables you've got to sit at and the stages you have to stand on. What if the pain can make you better? What if the pain could build muscle? What if the pain could cause you to reach higher, to leap farther, to run faster? What if the pain could help you? What if all pain isn't hurt, but it's help? We're built to walk uphill. And when you reach the pinnacle of the hill, you want to stop and appreciate the vision. But the next thing you want is a higher hill in the distance because it's from the uphill climb that we derive our value. And I mean this technically. So Honesty without kindness is brutality. Kindness without honesty is manipulation. Mastering others is strength. Mastering yourself is true power. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Lao Tzu. Overtrusting, betrayal, masturbation, loss of energy, stress, hair loss, overthinking, depression, saying no to important things, revenge, ruining your own life, observing, increase in wisdom, forgiving, healing, letting go, peace of mind. You can keep friends with the people you want to emulate, not the people that you think will be most likely to accept you. The people you associate with will shape your future, Forgive yourself for your faults and your mistakes and move on. Les Brown What philosophy promises? When a man was consulting him how he should persuade his brother to cease being angry with him, Epictetus replied, Philosophy does not propose to secure for a man any external thing. If it did, philosophy would be allowing something which is not within its province. For as the carpenter's material is wood, and that of the statuary is copper, so the matter of the art of living is each man's life. What then is, my brothers? That again belongs to his own art, but with respect to yours it is one of the external things, like a piece of land, like health, like reputation. But philosophy promises none of these. In every circumstance I will maintain, she says, the governing part conformable to nature. Whose governing part? His in whom I am, she says. How then shall my brother cease to be angry with me? Bring him to me and I will tell him. But I have nothing to say to you about his anger. When the man who was consulting him said, I seek to know this how, even if my brother is not reconciled to me, shall I maintain myself in a state conformable to nature? Nothing great, said Epictetus, is produced suddenly, since not even the grape or the fig is. If you say to me now that you want a fig, 
I will answer to you that it requires time. Let it flower first, then put forth fruit, and then ripen. Is then the fruit of a fig tree not perfected suddenly and in one hour? And would you possess the fruit of a man's mind in so short a time and so easily? Do not expect it, even if I tell you. Only studying what you are studying, you are only becoming what you are becoming because somebody told you to become it. Why are you doing what you are doing? And that why is going to come from a pure place, a pure, authentic, unadulterated place. Resentment and compliant are appropriate neither for oneself nor others. See, resentment is a complex and multi-layered emotion that has been described as a mixture of disappointment, disgust, anger, fear, bitterness. When life hurts you, when people betray you, your greatest response, love, forgiveness, you must never be bitter. Your responsibility is to get better. See, every trial loves a good triumph. And so you've got to work your bounce back muscle. You have no regrets because you make the right decisions. You are a calculated conversationalist and compliant is to agree excessively to be a yes man or a yes woman. See, life isn't just about learning, but it's about unlearning. To be compliant would be to be programmed, to be hypnotized by the affairs of this life, to be suggestible that anytime anyone says anything, you believe it and you receive it. And the question must be, what is your reality? Both in fighting and in everyday life, you should be determined, though calm. Meet the situation without tenseness. What we do now echoes in eternity. Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. It is better to travel well than to arrive, Buddha. Anything you dream is fiction, and anything you accomplish is science. The whole history of mankind is nothing but science fiction. All failures are temporary when you keep trying. The law of assumption states that assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the way to realize it. Neville Goddard A blessed and indestructible being has no trouble himself and brings no trouble upon any other being. So he is free from anger and partiality, for all such things imply weakness. and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. Your biggest enemy is you. My whole book is about you battling yourself. People don't understand it's you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. Everybody thinks they're a loser. Every young person thinks they're a loser. At least a young person in the situation I was at. I, I didn't know I wasn't a loser until I started winning. Until I started doing martial arts. Martial arts taught me that like, I could get better at stuff. That it wasn't, I wasn't really a loser. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. You can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life. Because I've, I've that's what I've done. My whole life has been like that. Inside of me it has been, as soon as it's all lined up, I'm gonna show you my